Oh no. I got my two helpers this morning on the chores. A pretty little mermaid. Look to tell down. Let's see the mermaid in action. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, oh. Saved up her money. Got her little mermaid dress. It looks so pretty. Got little, little Mr. Brown here, of course. Hey, Mr. Brown, watch this, guys. Mr. Brown, do you want to go? Do you want to go in the Ergo? <laughs> he gonna be a free bird this morning, isn't he, Lily? You gonna walk free, Mr. Brown? Normally on this day, I do Friday updates, but there's really not that much to update, and we've got a project to do. We need to start working on getting those plants out of the greenhouse yeah. on in and into the ground. So hopefully I can get these chores done in a reasonable amount of time, and we can jump on that. Oh gosh. Oh. What's the one that gucks all over the place? Possum. I was in a class once with Joe Salatin ah. and he told me how to read a kill. If their guts are all over the place, that's a possum. If feathers are all over the place, it's a fox. And if their head's gone and their heart's out, it's a raccoon type of kill. So this to me looks like a possum, but I don't see where in the world they would have gotten through this electric fence. You, you see it's hitting hard. I mean, it's burning the grass underneath it's hitting hard. It is lifted up a little bit there, so maybe they got under it. But since they have been had their wings clipped, they haven't been able to jump up on the A-frame. So I imagine they were down here and uh, a land predator. Now, I guess it could have been an owl. I don't know what an owl kill looks like though. Obviously, this is just not gonna be enough, the electric fence. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be making sure we put them into the A-frames at night. Got 10 left, but we got so many because we knew this would happen. It's, it's hard to go without losing some of the animals to predators. Oh look, there is something to update you guys. We got a bunch of watermelons coming in. Look at that, little tiny watermelon. Yeah, There's a bigger one. one. Look at this huge one. Yeah, oh look. Guys, Cantaloupe. some of these might be ready. Cantaloupe. Really? Some of them could be ready? And, and butternut squash. Look at this patch, guys. Pumpkin patch, fully ready to be harvested. Most of those spaghetti squash ready to be harvested. All right, I see you guys fared all right. I'm happy about that. So your fence is working. Nobody's getting under it. Sunflowers sagging with the weight of their seeds. This is what you get when you don't put them up at night. You can't walk around barely to feed them. You gotta be careful, you're gonna step on somebody. Fall planting project, we've got three spade shovels and three stakes. We need one more stake. And we need some worm castings. $450 worth in here, man. You guys saw that tub the other day. $450 for a 50 gallon drum of worm casting. You guys saw that barrel of worm casting the other day for 450 bucks? I bet I easily have 50 gallons of uh, worm castings in there. And it wasn't that hard to just dump manure in there and put in the worms. Yeah. And put in a little bit of moist, uh, moist feed bag over the pile. That's it, and let the worms do their work for about three to six months and it's ready. I think this will do as a steak. What do you think, Mr. Brown? All right, let's put them there. Good boy. Here, put these there. Hey, here you go. Okay, yeah, put the shovels in there too. Thank you very much. Mama. Yeah, go ahead and get it. Good job. There's one more. There you go. Good boy. Mama. Yeah, put it in here. Okay, put this one in here too. There you go. Good boy. All right, you ready? Let's do this. You want me to carry you or you're going to walk? Okay, lead the way. Look how many tomatoes I harvest. Wow, good job, buddy. I'm gonna go down to the, I'm gonna go down to the crop garden on that side and get it. Sweet. I'm gonna get some more. Mom's gonna be very excited about that. What do you hear, Mr. Brown? What do you hear? You hear one of the trucks? All right, you hear the logging truck? Okay, let's go see it. Let's go see it. Wanna go see it? 
Yeah. Here they come. Nice and slow. You gonna get them to honk? <laughs> you like that? See if you can get this one to honk. See if you can get this one to honk. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. My sunshine. <laughs> You're feeling better, I see. I am. I'm feeling so much better. Okay, finally so, kicking it, man. Yeah, yesterday I felt pretty good. And then today I feel almost 100% back to Uh-huh, right. enough so. to get us some soap Yep. for the new transplants. Yep. We're going to really reinforce these. Yeah. Oh, don't spray. <laughs> and you've been, you've been figuring out our blood meal mix? Um, I have been, and I'm almost going to just go get it. Okay, let's go get it. And then we'll come out. Mama, I have a present for you. Okay. Whoa! Holy cow, where'd you get those? From the gardens. The kitchen garden or all the gardens? All the gardens. Whoa. But the kitchen garden one, you know that one that Papa staked out when uh -huh. you bushwhacked that? It, half of it's gone. It's been eaten by bugs. I didn't like it. That's okay. You can pick them and give them to the chickens. The ones that have been half eaten by bugs. Okay, so we're looking at our old crops here. Not doing so hot. Our first batch of fall crops. So we're going to really baby these next ones by soaping them to protect them from the bugs and giving them some blood meal. We're going to try to salvage these guys. You know how mom is. She never gives up. She's going to spread some blood meal on these guys. Oh, and I think our... Look at them. We got squashes coming. We'll you have tomatoes. We'll Look, you have tomatoes guys. and squashes volunteer coming in. No problem that the chickens have planted, of course. They're all over the place. See? And there's even a watermelon. So it's not having any problem with this soil. It's the brassicas that are struggling. So I do kind of have in my heart a plan B. If this doesn't work, yeah. we can go to the local seed store and I think they sell fall starts. Or there's other farms in the area yeah. that sell fall starts. And I, it sounds like I'm saying false starts, but I'm saying fall starts. Plants that are already grown up, they've grown in a greenhouse, and we'll keep trying in here, I think. We'll see what happens. Well, look, the carrots have started to come up. Yes, in our carrot patch, there has, some have come up. A huge volunteer squash. Okay, scratch, scratch our plan of planting in there today. Jonah, Mama, let's just go around and weed whatever big things have come up. Let's protect our carrots here so they don't get drowned out like they did in the jungle garden. And uh, we'll start fresh on Sunday. Does that sound like a plan, Mom? Does. Mr. Brown got out of sight. That kid, man, he's the he's the runningest kid. Oh, there he is, spraying the house with the soap. <laughs> Running from me. Okay, here's the rest of our stuff. Here, we'll put this up on the porch for use on Sunday. You spraying them in now? Can you come over here and work with us? Come over here and spray the plants over here. Mr. Brown, spray that, okay? And then you're over here safe with us, and it won't hurt anything. This is just uh, Shackley, guys. Basic H. It's a safe soap. Supposedly it'll keep the bugs off the plants. I think it will, and humans can actually eat that, so it's no problem. We had something get our turkey this morning. What? Do you know? Well, it's a, uh, either a possum or an owl. I don't know what an owl kill looks like, right. but it looks like a possum kill. The yeah. fence was on and hot, and not so maybe it crawled under, I don't know. But you're gonna have to keep them in the A-frame no matter what. Just for the double protection. Yep. I think it's a good idea. Now she's gonna go around picking up the bigger, the bigger weeds, because even if these don't make it, we're gonna transplant in their place. Yeah, last night when I was at the co-op, I saw they had starts. Oh good. Hi. So we go into town next week, and so we will we'll just wait till then and see how many we need and then by at the local seed company. Here comes Josiah flying on the Y bike. Woo! Oh. You giving little brother some help? That's nice. Now that's teamwork, guys. All right, Jonah, let's grab some of this produce before we go in. Some of that butternut squash. That one might need a few more days. 
but I think these this one's ready. Yeah. Okay, this one's ready. Yeah, that one's perfect. Thank you. We have one over here. We got some spaghetti squash here. Here's an itty bitty. S small versions of it. She's saying they're rotten. Well, they might have a. No, that, that, I think that's just a. A spot where a bug might have went in. Or a chicken pecked it. Yeah. Here, put these in here. We'll never know until we open it for sure. Yeah. Yes, we love those Italian zucchinis. <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay, guys, get the rest of these and we'll call it a day. Okay, you see all these four here, guys? Pick, pick them up and put them in the chickens. They'll soften up by the sun and the chickens will eat them. Yeah. That's a nice load. Yeah, it is.